What is up my dudes, it's Pac-Man here and today I'm bringing you guys my personal guide for the best attachments to choose when you're looking for low recoil weapons. Uh, really quick disclaimer before we start, the vast majority of my attachments I've selected um, basically from researching um, an attachment guide that was created by Cinebot. I've been using it basically since I started playing Siege, he updates it pretty frequently. I'm going to drop a link to it in the description below. Um, it goes through everything in really good detail and gives an explanation as to why he chooses certain attachments over um, others uh, and again a note on that I don't copy his attachment um, selection wholeheartedly for a few of them I chose a different attachment just with time I've, I've found that I like more of one over another um, so yeah just a quick disclaimer if you want a full written document on all of this check the link in the description it's really good um, this video is going to be a little bit uh, quicker and just give you guys the exact information that you're looking for all right, guys, there's a few things that we need to clarify just before we get started. Okay, number one, there's two different types of recoil. There's vertical recoil and there's horizontal recoil. Okay, so vertical recoil is when the gun pulls upward when you're shooting it, and that's why we have to pull down. And then there's horizontal recoil where the gun will either pull left or right or both. All right, guys, next up we have muzzle break. And what muzzle break actually does is it reduces your first shot recoil by 45% and it reduces your centering time by 45%, which is really handy for pistol pistols and for DMRs and also some really high recoil guns. So basically what our first shot recoil is, is the first shot that you pop, um, how much that's going to bump up in the air, right? So if someone like Twitch, it might make sense to use muzzle brake because that first shot is really high. And the centering time is just how fast after, like, if it, no matter how high it goes, how fast it comes back down to center, right? So that's what muzzle brake will do um, in a short sentence. All right, next up we have flash harder. Flash hider is kind of your, your in-between basically. So flash hider is gonna give you a reduction in first shot recoil of 37.5%. It's gonna reduce your recentering time down to 30%, um, but it's also gonna give you a 5% reduction in horizontal um, recoil. And that's why a lot of people will just play up flash harder on all guns and to be honest I can't um, I wouldn't be able to tell you you're doing the wrong thing um, yes I think in certain uh, guns there's there's uh, attachments that are better but flash harder is a really good pick kind of regardless so if you're ever uh, in doubt flash harder on and then finally we have the compensator which does not affect uh, your first shot recoil or your centering time but it does increase the stability of the weapon by 17.5 percent so basically the stability is your horizontal recoil um, so it's going to keep it it, keep your gun from straying left and right right so what that might be useful for is certain operators that basically don't have a whole lot of recoil you might want to put compensator on there so that it just keeps that like valkyrie's gun it's it's got no like real vertical recoil so maybe put compensator on there to keep it dead straight all right when it comes down to vertical and angle grip vertical grip will basically give you a 25 percent total reduction in recoil whereas angle grip will give you a 40 percent faster ads time to be able to pick the gun up quicker but um with all of the recoil in full swing um the way i personally play siege i stay ads a lot of the time um so yeah i just don't see any point for me personally in using angle grip i do know that some people use it to great effect it just depends on how good you are with recoil um but in terms of trying to get low recoil just put vertical grip on there and stay away from angle grip Lastly, when it comes to lasers, the only people that I think should have lasers on their weapons are shield operators, so Monty and Blitz, um, because it doesn't matter if they can be seen, you know, lasers basically will give away your position pretty easily, um, and all it does is just reduces the spread of hip fire. Um, so when you're using the shotgun, because the shotguns are quite weak in this game, I would probably recommend using a laser, um, because it doesn't really matter if they know you're there, you're, they'll be walking into a shotgun if you're playing it correctly. Um, so yeah, I would have it on a shotgun, and I would have it on the shield. I wouldn't have it on any other gun, okay? Finally, when it comes to ACOG or holographic sight, it's completely preference based. Um, holographic doesn't give you less recoil by any means, by any stretch of the imagination, um, but it does uh, kind of make it less noticeable. You don't really see the recoil as much because the, your zoom isn't as magnified. Um, I use ACOG on a lot of weapons. Some weapons I use holographic. It really depends on the day, but it's not going to change your recoil. It's just going to change how you kind of, yeah, how, how you perceive it. All right, first off, we got Sledge. So I run the L85, I don't run the shotgun. Um, I'm gonna use ACOG, Vertical Grip, and Flash Hider. Um, and then on the SMG11, I'll run Holographic, Flash Hider, and Vertical Grip. Okay, um, in terms of utility, sorry, in terms of utility there, I'll always run nades. More damage than they have the ability to get you frags. 
All right, guys, and then for Thatcher on the L85, I run it the exact same way as I do Sledge, ACOG, uh, Vertical Grip, and Flash Hider. And then when it comes to the AR33, uh, I usually run Holographic, Muzzle Brake, and Vertical Grip, right? Um, that's just the way I like it. It's it's very low recoil with the Muzzle Brake um, because it gets rid of that first um, heavy pop. So that's what I like with the AR33. Um, I always run Muzzle Brake on all pistols. I never run the Silencer, like I mentioned before. Breach charges or claymores, it just depends on the bomb site that you're attacking. Uh, breach charges are really, obviously, really good for, you know, uh, vertical gameplay, whereas claymores can be um, super handy for flank watch, but more so for, for jump outs and run outs. Okay, with Ash, I don't play the G36C whatsoever. I only play the All4C. I use holographic compensator vertical grip, and you have to have double black ice or you cannot play Ash. No, but seriously, I play the M45 um, with the black ice. No, but I play a muzzle brake on all pistols, like I mentioned before. Um, and I always bring stun games, uh, stun grenades, as you know, the meta nowadays is very much utility destructions, so getting rid of burning ADSs and all my magnets. Um, so the stun grenades are important. Um, and that's the ash. And so for Thermite, I'm running 556. At the moment, I'm playing it with a holographic flash hider and vertical grip. You can put an ACOG on there. Um, I kind of fluctuate, depends on the site. I've just been running a lot more holographics these days. Um, and then in pistol terms, I uh, still run the M45 here as well with muzzle brake um, and again, stun grenades. Claymore um, is also very viable for, for Thermite. So for Twitch, I'm obviously running the F2. It's one of the best guns in the game when you can learn that recoil. I play it with ACOG. Obviously, a vertical grip is no other choice. And I play muzzle brake, all right? Because the, the, the hardest part of Twitch's uh, recoil, in my personal opinion, is them first two or three bullets where it just flies into the air. Muzzle brake helps reduce that and keep it lower, all right? And then after that, usually with Twitch, you're only firing in five or six round uh, bursts anyway. So that's why I run that sort of loadout. Uh, Pistol-wise, I play the P9 with muzzle brake um, and I bring a claymore. So like I mentioned before, when it comes to the shield operators, you do want to bring laser sight, not with other operators. Um, and then with Monty specifically, I'll play the P9 muzzle brake uh, laser sight with smoke grenades. Okay, and then with Glaz, I run the muzzle brake. Reflex doesn't really matter a whole lot, but I play the reflex. I use the PMM with muzzle brake and I bring smoke grenades so that I can best use Glaz's utility. I don't really play Glaz though. All right, and then with Fuse, I run the ACOG Flash Hider Vertical Grip. I use the PMM with Muzzle Brake, and then I run Smoke Grenades because they're, they're always super handy. Blitz is going to be the same as Monty. I'm running the P12 Muzzle Brake uh, Laser Sight, and I'm bringing Smoke Grenades. All right, guys, when it comes to IQ, I run the G8A1 with ACOG Compensator and Vertical Grip. It's what I'm using at the moment. Sometimes I do play the Commando, in which I'll use Holographic Flash Hider Vertical. And I actually lied at the beginning of this video when I said that I don't use suppressors. I do on IQ's gun because it makes me feel good. Again, I don't really play that much IQ. All right, for Buck, I use Holographic and Flash Hider. I run the fully auto weapon, not the DMR. Um, and then I use the MK1 just with standard muzzle brake and I always bring stun grenades. All right guys, for Blackbeard, I run the MK17 ACOG flash hider vertical grip. Um, I run the Desert Eagle with muzzle brake and I bring stun grenades. For Capital, I bring the Para 308. I run holographic compensator and vertical grip. Um, for the pistol, I just run the PRB. I'm just learning all the names of these pistols now uh, with muzzle brake. Um, and it depends again, you can bring stuns, you can bring claymores, depends on what bump site you're running. Uh, probably stuns, I'll change it now. All right, guys, for Habana, I run the Type 89. I bring ACOG, Flash Hider, and Vertical Grip. Um, and for the pistol, I use the Bearing 9 with Holographic and Flash Hider. On the Type 89, I very frequently change between Holographic and ACOG. Depends how I'm feeling. Um, and I also bring stuns. All right, guys, for Jackal, I'm running the C7E. Um, I'm going ACOG, Flash Hider, Vertical Grip. Um, and I'm bringing the shotgun for that extra utility. And um, I'm running ACOG and a, and a laser sight. Smoke grenades over claymores. All right, guys, I have just officially lied to your face twice now. So with Ying, I actually forgot I do use angle grip um, and I run the compensator. That's just, this is not going to give you the lowest recall. If you're looking for the lowest recall for Ying, I would recommend running something like the holographic uh, vertical and flash hider um, for, you know, your five to 10 round burst. That's going to give you the lowest recoil. But for Ying, she's really a specialty op um, and her specialty is obviously flashing people out and running in there and, and flicking onto targets. So for her specifically, I'd recommend kind of just not worrying too much about the recoil and play like she's supposed to be played all right guys for Zofia this is probably my favorite gun in the game I only use the M762 um, I run it with ACOG flash hider and vertical grip muzzle brake on the pistol and I usually bring be breach charges for extra 
uh, damage for extra vertical play. Um, however, sometimes, you know, if it's warranted, you can bring the claymore. All right, guys, for Dockerby's gun, I run ACOG, muzzle brake, and vertical grip. It's a DMR, so all DMRs should have muzzle brake on them. Um, I haven't said that for a few of them. I actually think I missed it. So just if anyone here uses DMRs, always put muzzle brake on them. Um, for the pistol, I personally use the C75 with no suppressor. All right, guys, for Lion, I run holographic, flash hider, and vertical grip. Um, and pistol wise, I use the P9 with uh, muzzle brake, stun grenades. All right, guys, on the rare occasion that I actually use Finca, I'll be running the Spear with ACOG, Flash Harder, and Vertical Grip. Um, on the 6P41, the LMG, I run the same setup, ACOG, Flash Harder, Vertical Grip, um, but usually I prefer the Spear, not sure why. Um, in terms of the pistol, I always go the lower capacity, higher damage pistols. Um, so I play the PMM and I bring a nade. Okay guys, and for Maverick, I play the M4 with ACOG, Flash Harder, Vertical Grip. Um, I, there's only one pistol, I bring Muzzle Brake on that, and I bring grenades. Alright guys, and for Nomad, I'll run the ACOG and Flash Harder on the ARX 200. Um, and then I'm now running the PRB 92 pistol, because um, that ACOG pistol is just terrible, the .44, the Dark .44. Um, and then I bring Stun Grenades. Fun fact guys, I don't own Gridlock, Knock, or Cali. No time for them personally. Um, but in terms of my loadout, uh, I run a definitely a different loadout uh, than I do with IQ. So with the Maru, obviously she's again another specialty up. So once again, I have lied to you guys. I run the holographic compensator and angle grip. It's just a little, uh, a little kind of combination that I find useful. Um, for it, again, she's a specialty off. She's going to be coming through the window. She wants to get a gun up as fast as possible to stay alive. So that's why I use the angle. And on the SMG 11 for her, I use the same setup, holographic flash harder vertical grip, and I bring stun grenades. All right, guys, for Yana, I use the ARX 200. Again, I don't really like the G36C, just something against it. Uh, for her, I bring ACOG, flash harder, and vertical grip. I use the pistol with muzzle brake, and I bring grenades. All right, guys, and last but not least, for the attackers, we have Ace. I run the AK-12 with the standard setup of ACOG, flash harder, vertical grip. Um, I run muzzle brake on the pistol, and I bring smokes. All right, guys, and now onto the defenders, starting off with Smoke. With Smoke, I run the shotgun, not the FMG, just so I can create rotates on sight. I run it with the reflex and with the laser sight. Um, and then on the secondary, I run the SMG-11 with your standard flash hider, holographic, and vertical grip. Um, and then I bring the deployable shield. All right, guys, then onto Mute. Uh, for the shotgun, I run the laser sight and the reflex. When I do use the MP5K, I use it with flash hider and holographic sight. I really do enjoy the MP5K. It's so satisfying for me to play, uh, but you know, you gotta bring the shotgun for utility most of the time. Um, on the SMG-11, I run the vertical, holographic, and flash hider, same thing, um, and I bring the C4. All right, guys, and then for Castle on the UMP45, I use holographic, compensator, and angle grip here again, just because there is basically no vertical recoil on the UMP. There's no point. You might as well have a faster um, ADS time. Um, and then on, I use the super shotty with the laser sight and red dot. Doesn't really matter a whole lot. Um, and I bring the proximity lamp. So for Pulse, I use the same setup on the UMP45, Compensator, Angle Grip, Holographic. I usually use the uh, M45 pistol, which is the lower capacity, higher damage, and I bring the C4 for obvious reasons. All right, and then on the MP5, I use the ACOG, Flash Harder, Vertical Grip, um, and I use the uh, P9 handgun with muzzle brake, and I usually bring barbed wire. Okay, and then for Rook, it's the same setup, ACOG, Flash Harder, Vertical Grip. On the pistol, I use the P9 with muzzle brake. Um, I usually bring impacts with Rook, but proximity of the alarms are pretty strong, so it just depends on the team composition. Okay, guys, for Capgan, the 9X19, I usually run a, a reflex, vertical grip, and compensator. Uh, there's not a whole lot of vertical re uh, recoil there. Um, Pistol-wise, I use the PMM with muzzle brake, of course, and I run the C4. All right, guys, onto the great and powerful Tachanka. On the 9X19, I use the exact same setup, reflex, vertical, and compensator. Um, Pistol-wise, I use the PMM again with muzzle brake, and I'll bring proximity alarm. All right, guys, for Jaeger, I'm gonna be bringing the 416 carbine with the holographic flash hider and vertical grip. Um, on the pistol, I use the P12 with muzzle brake, and I bring barbed wire. All right, guys, and then for Bandit, I run the holographic and the muzzle brake for that really tight two to three shot accuracy. Um, and then on the P12, I'll bring the muzzle brake as well, and I'll always play the C4. All right, guys, then for Frost, I'm gonna be running the holographic, extended barrel, and angle grip. Um, on the pistol, standard stuff, just running the muzzle brake and um, bringing the deployable shield. 
All right, guys, and then for Valk's MPX, I'm running the holographic compensator and angle grip, basically just because there is, you know, no recoil here whatsoever, no vertical recoil. That's why the angle grip's okay. Um, and in sensor compensator, it just keeps it basically dead straight, again, because there's no vertical. I'm always running the C4 and Deagle with muzzle brake. All right, and for CAV, I usually run the SPAS 15 with laser sight. Um, the M12 basically has no recoil anyway, so don't stress, probably put a compensator on there. I don't really use it though. Um, the pistol, I don't run the laser sight whatsoever, and I'm sticking with impacts for now. Um, I don't really play too much CAV anyway, but proximity alarm could be a good matching for her too. All right, and then for Echo, I'll run the ACOG and vertical grip. On the bearing nine, I run holographic and flash hider. Um, and now because they've taken away a shield, I'll be using impact grenades. All right, and for mirror, I usually run the holographic compensator and vertical grip. Um, some people will play it with a muzzle breaker or a flash hider. I personally just prefer it with compensator. Um, I, I like the feel of it. The shotgun, I just run the laser sight and I always bring C4. All right, and then for lesion, I run a holographic flash hider setup. Um, I run the just the standard pistol with muzzle brake and I bring impact grenades. Okay, and then for Ella, when I'm using the Scorpion, I use holographic compensator vertical. Um, when I'm using the shotgun, which is to be honest, most of the time, um, I can't use the Scorpion to save my life. I usually use holographic extended barrel and vertical grip with the laser sight um, on the pistol, just using a uh, standard muzzle brake and I'm bringing the shield. Okay, and then for visual, I use the K1A holographic flash harder angle grip. Again, it's just another one of those um, those operators that it's just got very low recoil, so you might as well have a little bit of faster ADS time. Um, again, it's not really relevant to the way that I play anyway, but yeah, that's what I use. Um, I usually run the C75 with no attachment. Um, if I am running the SMG12, I'll do it with a vertical grip and holographic sight. Always bring impacts when playing visual. Okay, and with Maestro, I'm only using the Alda with holographic compensator and vertical grip. Um, on the pistol, I use the laser sight with the shotgun pistol for utility um, to open up walls. Um, barbed wire or impact, again, it doesn't really matter. Um, at the moment, I'm bringing impacts mainly and just doing all sight setup. All right, guys, and for Alibi, I usually run the MX4 Storm with holographic compensator and vertical grip. Um, on the pistol, I usually bring the shotgun pistol um, just to get around, and then I uh, kind of compensate for that by bringing the deployable shield. All right, and for Clash, I use the SPS MG9 with flash hider, and I uh, run impact grenades. All right, and for Kaid, since they nerfed the TCS, um, I'm basically running a holographic flash hider and vertical grip setup. Um, and then at the moment, I've moved on to this uh, LFP handgun, the new handgun they've given them, and I bring the C4. Okay, and for Muzzy, I basically only use the Commando. I really like the gun. I play it with holographic flash hider and vertical grip. Um, when I am playing the other gun, I usually use a compensator. So I use vertical grip, holographic compensator. Um, the pistol, I just run a standard muzzle brake, um, and then I use C4. Fun fact number two, I don't own Warden. All right, and then for Goyo on the Vector, I run the same setup that I do for Mira's gun, holographic compensated vertical grip. Um, I use muzzle brake on the pistol and I bring a C4. All right, and for Wamai, I use the MP5K with flash hider. I run the Keratos.357 uh, with muzzle brake. I usually bring a deployable shield because it goes well with this gadget. If I am using the AUG, I'll run it with a holographic and flash hider. Okay, and then for Oryx, I'm using the MP5. Um, I run it with a holographic flash hider and an angle grip. Again, another specialty up when he's jumping up hatches or bursting through uh, walls. You want to be able to get that gun into your hands as fast as possible. So I'll forgive using angle grip here, even though there is a bit of recoil on the weapon. Uh, I use the bailiff with um, laser sight just to open up hatches, and I usually bring a proximity alarm. All right, and finally for Maluzi, I'm running the T5 SMG. I use it with a holographic, a flash hider. Um, on the pistol, I'm just running it standard with the muzzle brake and I bring a C4. All right, guys, and there you have it. Sorry if this video was a little bit dry. Um, it was one that I knew I had to make. People have been asking me for it for ages. It's not gonna be the, the easiest or the funnest one that you'll ever watch from me. Uh, but in the same way, people need to know this sort of thing. Again, thank you to Cinebot uh, for all of the information. It's a really, really good guide. I would highly recommend you go check it out if you want more in-depth information as to why I choose them. Um, again, I don't choose the exact ones that he chooses for certain operators, um, but hey, that's just what it is. It's all preference. There is an element of preference-based uh, when it comes to recoil. Whatever recoil you feel most comfortable dealing with is probably gonna be the best attachment for you. So try some of these operators out. Try some of these attachments out and let me know what you think. Come back to this video and drop a comment and say, hey, thank you, you saved my life. I can now use the Vector <laughs> or, uh, or something like that. Um, and a really quick shout out, guys. Uh, for those of you who do not know, I recently started up my second channel and that's where I've pushed all of my coaching videos. Um, so I posted three or two last week. There's three videos on there total and there's gonna be two more 
this week. Um, so I'm going to drop a link in the description. Uh, it's Pac-Man Plays. So please, if you want to support the channel, head over there and drop a subscribe. A subscribe, drop a, drop a sub. Um, it really helps out more than you know. Uh, but without wasting any more time, once again, thank you for all of the continued support. I hope some of you guys find some value in this video, um, and I'm looking forward to the future. Without wasting any more time, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.